All right, so as we've worked in the roller coaster lab mainly last week, we talked a lot about energy transfer. So we're going to come back and make sure that we're wrapping it up and that we've got a good firm grasp of what energy transfer is. We're going to talk about that fourth, or I'm sorry, that yeah, the fourth learning target. I can apply the conservation of energy law. Okay. Somebody tell me right off the bat, what does the law tell us? Last week you guys got good at reciting it. Abby, go ahead. Energy can't be created or destroyed. So when we talk about energy transformations, our bell ringer, what is energy transformation? Andrew told us it's a conversion. Okay? It's any process of converting energy from one form to another. So as we look at your notes. Oh. It's any process. So energy com conversion goes in that blank. I've attempted to underline it. There we go. And it's any process of converting energy from one form to another. So what are some examples? Give me an example. Liberty? Sun to a plant, good. The energy is going from the sun into the plant. Okay, it's turning into chemical energy. It's going from radiant energy to chemical energy. Very good. Yeah, you can. So as you're looking at your notes, okay, I do want you to explain it briefly. So as we just said, sun to a plant, we said the radiant energy turns it into chemical energy. All right, Jalen, what do you got? A car. What about the car? Gas goes into it. All right. What about it? Gas goes into it and it goes forward and backwards and stuff. Okay. So gas is what kind of energy? Chemical. Chemical energy. What happens when you turn the car on to that gas? It's, it's the what happens before it starts moving? What happens when you turn that car on? The engine comes on. The engine comes on and what does it do to that gasoline? It pumps it in. It what? burns it, it warms it. What kind of energy is that? Thermal energy. And then essentially it moves, moves which is what kind of energy? Physical. Okay. Physical or mechanical energy. Okay, so there's another example. Who else? You guys are filling these in in your notes. We're going to brainstorm several. Somebody give me at least one more and I'll go through my list. Kylie? A light switch. How does a light switch work as energy conversion? You put the switch All right, so when we flip the switch, she said electrical energy starts to run through that, then the light will go on. What does the light produce? What kind of energy? Radiant energy and heat energy. Good. Jalen? What? Okay, so can energy be transformed more than twice in like objects? Of course. How many times can, what's the maximum of transformation? There's really none. As long as there's energy there, as long as, okay, there's really no limit to it. It depends on the object. Okay? All right, anybody build a bonfire this weekend? Okay, what, all right, what about a bonfire or starting a fire? What, how would that be energy transformation? Jalen? You get a match and you click it off the box. Okay. Joint. So what kind of energy is that right there? That is um, kinetic. Okay, kinetic motion, mechanical energy. All right. And you drop it. And then you drop it. Into the bonfire. Into whatever you've got. Yeah. Okay. And if it doesn't start into like a liquid, all right, so there might be some chemical energy in there. Yeah. All right, and what are what type of energy is that? Thermal, and what else? Looking into the fire, what do you notice? Okay, heat, yes, but it's also going to be radiant too because it's giving off light. Okay, all right, so we can take energy, and some are more useful than others. So to be useful, energy found in fossil fuels, solar radiation, or nuclear fuels. 
need to be converted into other forms of energy. So that's where a lot of the times we get our energy and we get our electricity. Okay? Alright, so we talked and so some other ones and we brainstormed some good ones. Okay? Throwing a rock. How's that a conversion of energy? Thomas? Good. And then when you throw it, it's kinetic energy. Kinetic energy, good. Okay. We talked about starting a fire. Okay, what about plugging in the hair dryer and using the hair dryer in the morning? I know that's not up on the screen. Okay, I heard electric. To what? To thermal. Electrical to thermal. Okay. All right, what about a steam engine? How does a steam engine work? It's a compound. What happens in a steam engine? Troy, what happens in a steam engine? Okay, and so they essentially are doing, they're heating up the water to create steam. What kind of energy is that? Thermal. Okay, and eventually once it gets nice and heat it up, what does that steam do for the engine? It allows it to work and eventually the steam engine will be able to make the train go, move, which is what kind of energy? Kinetic, mechanical energy. Okay. All right. So I got a long list here. All right. We talked about animal and plant matter, sun to plant. Okay, we can convert into fossil fuels like coal and petroleum. So then we burn those and we get electricity that way. So there's one way. We compare to car. We use gasoline. The same thing with a lawnmower. Chemical energy from gas. We'll heat it. We'll allow the mechanical energy. We'll allow the blades to move and we'll allow you to cut your grass too. All right, and we talked about a hair dryer. So do you have at least three examples in your notes? Have you explained them? That's my next question. Make sure you've explained how they convert. All right, so helpful ways. What are some helpful, useful ways that we might transform energy? Jalen, what do you think? Solar panels. Solar panels. What do we use solar panels for? Okay, thermal to electric, so we're able to use that sunlight. Okay, to create and get useful things. Okay, now I think of something that's not so useful, but is an example of my solar. My monkey over here, right? Okay. Uses that solar radiation. It's a similar idea, and that allows him to move. All right, anybody ever been to Chicago? Okay, there's a long stretch of windmills. Okay, how do windmills work? All right, so the wind pushes the blades around. What kind of energy is that? Mechanical, kinetic, it's moving, and then we get what in return? Electrical energy, okay? Your water heater is in your house. Hydroelectricity, what does that mean, hydroelectricity? Sydney? Water, so what it, how do we use water to get electricity? Riley? So the water runs through it, moves it, causes that mechanical energy. The mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy. Okay. Wind power. You can add the solar panels in there as well. Just giving you some ideas. All right. So somebody, again, tell me, what is the law of conservation of energy? Tell us as we move on in our notes. The law of conservation of energy. What is its state? All right, Chloe. The energy cannot be created or destroyed. It cannot be created or destroyed. What happens to it then? If it can't be created or destroyed, Sydney, it only changes form. So as you look at your notes in there, let me state that as energy is transformed, energy cannot be. 
created or destroyed, but can only change form. So make sure you fill in your blanks there. And so as you look at your workbook pages, it's been a while since we've gone back to them. They should be in your homework section. Why don't you go ahead and turn to your homework section of your binder. Let's look for page 284 and 285 in your workbook. All right. So as we go over those and we look at that work, I want you to keep your workbook pages handy because we're going to come back to page 285 in just a second. All right, so let's think about a roller coaster. And we've been doing a lot of talking about roller coasters lately, and I've got a picture of a roller coaster up there. And you have a paragraph about a roller coaster in your notes at the very bottom. And I want you to take about two minutes as a table I want you to see if you can fill in the paragraph based on what you know about your vocabulary. We'll come back together and check it, but two minutes, let's go. Look over the paragraph. Okay, so you guys had some time. I heard some good conversations about what to fill in there. Let's go through and let's check your paragraphs. Okay, it says, a roller coaster car is lifted to the top of a steep hill using mechanical kinetic energy. At the top, it has a large amount of potential energy. As it moves down the hill, it has kinetic energy again. However, some of it's converted to sound and thermal energy due to friction. As it continues, the car's energy decreases as it's transformed to other types of energy, but the total amount of energy does not change. So if it, here, here's a question for you. Okay, if we start out and we decide, and I'm just throwing a number out there. At the top of the hill, the roller coaster has 100 joules of energy, potential energy. As it goes down the hill, it loses 10 joules of energy to sound and friction. Everybody with me so far? How much should we start with? 100. How much should we lose to sound in? 10. Okay, now did we truly, I shouldn't say lose, but I should say it was converted. Okay, so how much kinetic energy was exerted on that hill? There's... 90, Noah says. Why 90? Because 100 minus 10 is 90. Good. And you recognize that, do we, is anything destroyed? No. No, it's just transferred. Okay. All right. Let's look at page 285 in your workbook. And you can go ahead and you can put your notes back in your notes section if you'd like. I do want us to look at page 285 in your workbook. You've got those red pens in the middle of your table if you'd like to use those to correct. All right, so we're comparing two types of energy side by side. And I want you checking page 285 as we go. So coal power plants. What do we start with with coal power plants? What kind of energy? What kind of energy? All right, so we got the chemical energy. Where is that energy located? All right, I heard it. In the coal, good. Then what happens? Thermal energy. Where does that thermal energy come from? Water. 
So then we get that thermal energy in the water. Then what happens, Abby? We get kinetic energy of steam. Let's steam, not sturm. Then what, Sydney? So then the turbine starts to move. And then what do we get? Chloe? Good. We get electrical energy from the generator. Make sure that you've written out where we get the energy from and you're correcting as we go. All right. Now what about energy and heating? Okay, and I want you to be specific there. All right, so we get energy in heating. What do we start with? Noah, what do we start with? Electrical energy of the radio signals. Good, we get electrical energy from the radio signals. It says heating. It's hearing. In hearing, sorry. I was reading that. This should be hearing. That's my fault. Thank you, Abby. Then what? What do we get, Kelly? All right, then we get the kinetic energy of the speaker. Then what comes after that kinetic energy of the speaker, Chloe? Good. Sound energy of the air. What comes after the sound energy of the air? Luke? All right, that's where our eardrum starts vibrating. All right, and then Andrew, what's last? Electrical energy of brain and nerve cells. Do you think of your brain having electrical energy? Do you always, do, have you associated that before? Okay. But it does, those neurons are connecting and sending signal, signals. Okay. All right. Brain and nerve cells, excuse my handwriting. Okay, so your homework for the evening. It is on the board, it's in your agenda. You have about eight minutes or so to start it in class and get a good jump on it. Okay, it is page 727 in your book, number one through five, in your book, not your workbook. Okay. You are responsible for restating the question and re answering in complete sentences. Okay.